Good, we are back. My next guest tonight is an extreme pumpkin carver whose latest book is called Extreme Pumpkins 2. Please welcome Tom Nardone. Oh. How are you, Tom? Nice. Good to see you. Uh, let me get this straight. Extreme pumpkin carving is pumpkin carving using uh, basically machinery that could kill somebody. Is that right? That's basically it. And, and this is to get the job done quickly, more efficiently. Is That's that right? That's right, because I'm lazy. Okay, you're lazy. Well, no joke. I did uh, a pumpkin for my daughter last night. It took about two and a half hours to carve it up. I was bruised and beaten at the end. So this is definitely the way to go. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, you can't let the pumpkins win. You got to get to them. Can't let the pumpkins win. <laughs> That's a great motto for Halloween. Those bastards have to die. All right, uh, why don't you start us off? Tell us what's the first thing to do. Well, the first thing is to take the top off the pumpkin, so I use this thing, a reciprocating I see saw. that you're wearing safety equipment, and I am not. All right, uh, you so need I should something? probably put on these goggles right That's here. Is that correct? That's probably a good idea, yeah. And, and, and you're using a reciprocating saw? Yeah. So I jab it in there like this. Yeah. Pull the trigger. Okay, I don't even see what yeah. saw that is oh, over this, here. This I don't even know here. how to do that. So it's this one here. I don't even yeah. know how to turn it on. I'm such a... Thumb on that one. And oh, no, I'm so scared. One. Oh, there we go, right? Like that? Yeah. Okay. Or you All can right. squeeze and... it like... Okay, yeah. and then you just sit this in here. Yeah. And then just make all... Yeah. Okay, that's a mess. All right, so once you take the top, this is much easier than what I did last night, and it's making a lot more noise, which is cool. That's uh, good. With this, do you recommend for people to do this in their house, like with kids around? Uh, maybe outdoors, huh? And... Ah! There we go. All right. Uh, there. Good enough. <laughs> Okay, so then what? Uh, another tool I use is a drill for doing like nostrils and things like that. So, what does that do? Just cutting, out, making holes. There you go. You got that one. <laughs> pretty cool. That's pretty good. Thank you, Ms. Mike. Another tool. That was, and by the way, there's a kind of, uh, it's exciting to do that. It feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're winning. You're winning. The pumpkin is like, no, no. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. pumpkin's Shake like, exa well, don't get oh, crazy. That's the sexual. All right, let's go. Another tool I use is this thing. It what is out the that? Pumpkin. What does that do? I call it a pumpkin gooper. I made you one. Check yours out. Oh my, oh, oh, that's sweet. Look at my pumpkin gooper right there. It's it looks got a like little, his head. You see that? Yeah, it's got a little. And that goes in there and you just. You whip it around like that. Give it a try. So this this is what takes the longest time is scooping the goop out of the empty the pumpkin. So you're saying you put this. Oh! That's pretty good. You have to hold hold me while I do it. Let the pumpkins win. You can't let the pumpkins win. This is America, after all. That's okay. Right. Want to do one more? Uh, I want to do a lot more. All right. Well, let's grab that pumpkin over there on the edge. Okay. And, this uh, one here. Yeah. Right. We're gonna use a chainsaw. A chainsaw. Yeah. I've never used a chainsaw before. Oh, well, that'll go well in I think. my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably tell just by how I've handled yeah. things so far that the chainsaw's right over here. Oh, it's look this at this thing, thing with a chain on it. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Thanks for making me look even wussier. You push. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, what are we doing with this? Just take a chunk off of this side. Off this side? Yeah, like this. <laughs> why did mine... Why, why did... Why did mine take so much longer than yours? I just took the good one. I finished and you were reading a book. Yeah. Uh, and then All right. we made like Siamese twins out of that, see? Oh. <laughs> All right, you ready for this the... This one just had a lobotomy. You ready right. for the heavy artillery? Huh? You ready for the big stuff? Oh my God, what is that? Tell me what that is. Well, I read that the world record for carving a pumpkin is like 30 seconds or something, and I said I can do it in under a minute if I make this. So I made you one too, right there. Can you demonstrate this and then I'll try? What is sure. this thing called? I call it the pumpkin thumper. So you take a pumpkin like this. Yeah, hold on, let me get out there. I'm All slipping right. on pumpkin intestine over here. And then you take this thing. Yeah. And you whack it. That. Look at that. 
Right here? Right yeah. at that? Okay. You know all how right. to split wood, right? Uh, yeah, I split wood all the time. All right, here we go. What are you talking about? I split wood yesterday. There you go. Got With the thing winner. that has the chain on it. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh. Oh, that was too hard. Yeah, too much muscle. <laughs> Okay, that was too much. There you go, try again. Right here? Okay. Yeah. You gotta get really worked up into a rage when you do this, I think. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Uh, pick it up. Uh, uh, kinda. That's some pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah. That's, that's why. <laughs> Ready? On three. One, two, three. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, I'm having a small series of heart attacks right now. The book is Extreme Pumpkin 2. It's in stores now. You're a good man, Tom Nardone. Thank you Thanks, very much. Take a break. I'll be right back. Nardone, you're a sick man, but you're a good man. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Happy Halloween to you. Our thanks to Mary Kate Olson for stopping by and having me out. Big thanks to Will Forte for being on the show. Of course, Max Weinberg, the Max Weinberg 17 for last call with Carson Daly. Have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Six, six. It's like some horrible dream. I'm doomed. Doomed. Okay, that's that's Joel, our announcer. Relax, Joel. Six, six, six. It's just a number. It's not the six, six, six that worries me. It's the two. <laughs> Joel, uh, there's nothing scary about the number two. Oh, stop saying that, Conan. Two has always had frightening and sinister connotation for me. My mother always said I was too stupid. My co-workers have always found me too creepy. And my wife always says that I'm too unappetizing for sex. All right, well, I'm, 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 I'm sorry to hear that, Joel, but I thought we were talking about the number two. That's even worse. I was born with two belly buttons. I've only had two hot meals in the last two months, and I live with two drifters in a two-door Toyota. <laughs> well, well, Joel, just try to get through the show the best you can. No problem. I'll just huff these two gallons of paint thinner and hold my breath for two minutes, causing my brain to stop functioning.